All right, what's up? So today we're gonna be doing a video on the newly added Marvin Vittori. Um, I'll show off some of his perks. Obviously, we'll go through them first. Uh, take pause if you want to look at them. We'll go through a strike and his punch speed is pretty nice. Doesn't have the best power. Um, good accuracy, good blocking. So four star strike and he has really nice takedown defense too. His switch stance is a little bit lacking, along with his kick power and kick speed. But he's not too bad. Ninety one footwork as well. Now this is pretty good too because he is very all rounded, you know. As you can see here, he has like really nice uh, grappling as well with 89 takedowns. Obviously not the most amazing, but if you do get it down to the ground, he does have 93 top control and 92 bottom if you find yourself on the bottom of a YOL or something like that. 90 submissions and 93 sub D as well if you're coming up against Souths, that can be really good too. 92 ground striking as well, so his ground, his ground and pound and clinch striking as well being 90 and 89 clinch control. So he's really all rounded. I mean, he could probably be the best four star, especially with health stats like this. 94 cardio. Um, let's look at that. Like compared to, obviously, I mean, Izzy and uh, Rob only having. The same kind of uh, is he having one and more, and then Rob having ninety four cardio and ninety two chain along with ninety two body and ninety three recovery, which is one of the most important stats in this game. And he has level four boxing combos, level four ortho chokes, level four guillotine. So he'll have a standing guillotine as well. He'll he has a level four straight along with that, which a level four straight is nasty, um, and level four clinch knees to the body. So uh, I guess. What we have to do is we have to get into it here. Um, who will I face? You know, I'll face, I'll face Darren Till, considering that's who he's fighting next. I'm not actually sure if that's confirmed, but I think it's confirmed or all but confirmed. Interesting to see. Interested to see how he is, though. I think they done his model really well. They made that tattoo on his arm, uh, going up to his pec as well. Really good too. So his model so far, his model looks really nice as well, so can't complain too much. Yeah. This is a pretty impressive. They gave him a skin head instead of his hair. He's pretty big to be honest, because Darren Taylor is no small middleweight. Oh, I like the way his jab straight feels. He has that kind of if you remember the Nick Diaz kind of jab straight. Yeah, it's really just stiff and it's kind of like Cody Garbrandt too. He has that Cody Garbrandt-esque jab straight, which is really nasty. It's one of my favorite ones because you can kind of, it's easier to combo off with, you know, the jab straight lead hook and stuff. Here, this fight, I'll probably just be showing a little bit of his moves. I don't think he does have very many. He's not the most flashy on the feet. You know, he has teeth, he has rear body kick. He doesn't have any. You know what, we'll take it down here. No. Yeah. We get it down to the ground. There's not too much to be said on the ground, though, obviously. You know. Uh, we'll stand back up to the feet because a lot of people have similar ground stats to Vittori. But, damn, even though he only has 94 punch speed, I'm loving the way his um, jab straight and the way you can kind of combo off it with the lead hook straight is feeling. This Darren Till. Not playing very uh, aggressive, like, like. Oh, well, that was a lovely slip, though. Comes up top. But yeah, let me see. Uh, Alexander Rakic also being added. But yeah, I'm actually really enjoying the way he feels right now, and his model, like I was saying, really good. Let me see. That clinch body knee to the body is really good. AI a little bit easier to take down, it seems. Didn't used to be. Oh, he has Crucifix. Now, that is good. Having Crucifix is, you know, no no pun intended, crucial. Arm triangle, too. I think he submitted. Um, I, th I think it was Carl Robertson. I could be incorrect with an arm triangle. Oh. This poor Darren Till's getting elbows rained on him here. Gets out. It's interesting to see though that he has crucifix. Now that's really huge because if you're a wrestler, 
or if you're wanting to wrestle that's like a really main kind of finishing position no oh. oh no I you meant to posture up well that was an accident but I guess we get to see more of him on the feet he has pretty cool uh, nice animations will show off his head kick animate oh he leaned into that one I like that um he doesn't have a bad rear body kick animation that's one of my favorite things to try on this game you know straight rear body kick so it's nice to have a pretty decent one leg kick animation is not the best as I, you can imagine but yeah that's pretty good so far only unfortunate thing that i would also say is that he doesn't have a front kick um but you know so far probably my favorite four star in the middleweight division especially you know one of my favorite four stars in the game probably I know I've only been using him a little bit, but oh, and he has an ankle pick. Now, that's pretty good too, especially like I was saying, if you're trying to wrestle with him, which you probably will, but you can definitely mix it up with that level four uh, body, four star boxing combinations. You can kind of just put that pressure on, you know, you can use that lengthy combos of them. Darren Till does a good job at evading that. Oh, hits me with that body kick. We'll get him back down here if we can. Nah, defends it. We find ourselves up against the cage here. Now nah, we avoid it. Gonna try and get the knockout here. He doesn't have. Eight, he only has eighty switch stance. So if we do, if, if we do get our legs chopped here, we may be in a little bit of trouble. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, it's really good that he has that level 4 uh, rear, or not level 4 but he has that uh, clean body animation body kick roundhouse yeah he's kind of like Robert Whitaker in that sense actually he has the good rear one but his uh, laid one isn't the best only thing is he doesn't have the greatest rear head kick like Rob Rob I think has a level 4 rear head kick maybe it's his duck and roundhouse but I know he has a good head kick as well the rear one especially Um but honestly sometimes these awkward kicks they can make for trouble because you know you can't tell where they're going for sometimes because the start up animation is very similar oh and he catches with that head kick now i wasn't expecting that oh he gets back up to the feet i think we'll try and put the pressure on here but as well as that look how much pressure i've been putting on and I have been missing a lot of shots because I've just been trying to get him out of here, but I have still great cardio. Because of that. Oh, and we land that head kick to finish it. No unique celebration, which is a little bit sad, but it is all good. We move. Nicely done, though rear head kick there we go though that is the marvin vittori just a little showcase there for uh since he had just came out recently i'll be doing a uh, rackage one probably in a few minutes even so uh appreciate you for watching if you have liked the video a like would be appreciated and if you haven't already subscribed then that would be much recommended that you do so but that'll be that um hope you've enjoyed it peace